Hey everyone, this is Theme Nectar here bringing you another video tutorial. This video is going to be focused on a feature that was introduced in 4.0 and that is the mouse based parallax section. Even though this is not a complex feature to work with, a few upgrading users were confused as to where to actually find it and perhaps work with the different settings. So let's take the time to quickly cover that. I'm going to switch over into a demo website and this is actually emulating the setup that is seen on the live demo. Here we have a full width section with some text inside, and right now we just have a solid color set for the background. Now let's see the process of turning this into a mouse based parallax or a multi-layer parallax section. I'm going to go on over and edit this page, and here we have that top row that we just saw. I'm going to go over now and edit the row settings for that. And the first thing you have to do is come on, on down to the mouse based parallax scene and enable that. As soon as you check that box, there's going to be a bunch of new fields that are now made visible to you. And as you can see, I already have some layers uploaded. Now I'm going to quickly explain what all of these are. Here we have the scene positioning. That's simply going to dictate the way that your images are going to align within your row. And there is multiple inputs and selects for the strength. So basically the scene itself is going to have a value for the overall strength, which is going to dictate how aggressively all of these layers are going to be responding to the mouse movement or the tilting on a smart device. And then you can actually fine tune each one of the layers to determine how much they're going to respond to this number. And this is actually really useful for controlling the depth of your parallax, such as you might want it to appear that certain layers are actually further or closer away from the screen. And the example that I have set up here is actually perfect for demonstrating this. Also, as it's noted over here, you should be uploading all of these images roughly at the same dimensions, assuming you're going to be using PNGs for all layers except for the initial background. And I'm actually going to quickly show you what I mean by just pulling up um, the Photoshop example for this. So here we can see there's three layers. So here's the scene that I've composed, and we have the ground, the mountains, and the background itself. So when saving this out, you can simply handle it one layer at a time, holding the same document size each go around. For example, I would first save this background, and then I would enable the second layer, remove the first background, save this one out as a PNG, and then the final one would also be saved as a PNG. And they are all maintaining the same document size, so that when we upload all of these in our parallax section, we know exactly how everything is going to be overlaid. Going back on over into the Visual Composer. I'm going to now just save this and we can update the page and confirm that it works as expected. And here we have the working example. Now let's say that we wanted to play around with the depth of this slightly so that it looked as if the mountains were further back in the picture. Right now it looks like we're fairly close to them considering how much they're moving relative to the background behind it. So let's go back over into the edit page and edit that row again. And now let's change the strength of this one to just barely above the background. And we'll leave the ground as it was. Now let me go back on over into the front. And now it appears the mountains are a lot further away and that the ground itself or this mound is right next to us. And honestly that pretty much wraps it up for this feature. Despite being very visually impressing, it's actually a very simple element to work with. I just wanted to make this tutorial to make sure there was no ambiguity with this feature for new and upgrading users. I appreciate you guys.